Hello everyone and welcome back. Okay, today we are working on the Corbin All Brass Padlock Collection. I have a small collection of these All Brass Corbin Padlocks here. A couple actually with steel shackles. And, well, don't get me wrong, I do love the way they patina up to this really nice brown. Nice and even and, you know, these are old locks so they, they do patina up. You know, they are dinged up a little bit, you know, they got scratches on them and everything. but. You know, don't get me wrong, I do love the way they patina, and I love the looks of these locks. But, I don't know about you guys, but I do love shiny. And the brass that's underneath that patina is beautiful, so I have polished up a couple of them in my collection already. And what we are going to do today, we are going to show you how we're going to polish up one of these with the patina on them, and show the beautiful brass that's underneath them. Like I said, I do have a small collection. I have a collection of six of them. Here's one that I've polished up. They could use a little bit more work. This one here is one of them with a steel shackle. And I polished up the keys a bit too. There's the face of the key. I kind of don't like the way they put the face of the key facing towards the back lock when it's in there. I mean, that's the same way with this one too. The keys are beautiful. You know, they don't make keys like that anymore. But uh, yeah, we are going to polish up one of these in the collection today. This one here I'm going to leave just the way it is because I do love the way they patina up. But I'm going to take this one here, which is a 35 millimeter. I don't have the key for this one, so I picked it up and make it a little more easy um, to polish up around the shackle. But yeah, we're going to polish this one up for you today. And, uh, you know, we'll, I won't bore you with polishing up the whole thing in front of the camera. I mean, that would just be a super long video, but we'll polish up some and then you know maybe pause the video do some polishing off camera bring it back periodically and show you you know the stages and uh, you'll be able to see about how long it takes to actually do the work that way and um, yeah we're going to take and polish this one up um, and here's the other couple that I have in my collection I started working on that one a little bit another 45 mil millimeter I don't have the key for that one that's another all brass another Third, I think this is a 30 millimeter. Um, this one has a steel shackle, and you could see it's a little, little bent there too on that one. So that one was probably tugged on a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take and polish up one of these for you. And yeah, like I said, I do like shiny in my collection too. I'll leave one of them in that stage. I've been working on uh, this Almar rekey too that I got from Randy Perkins I'm trying to polish this one up a little bit too you know it's pretty dirty so I'm kind of working on that one but that one we'll work on that one a little bit later today we are going to polish this one up for you so if you give me a minute I'm going to stage this up and I'll get us ready and uh, yeah we'll get to work on that so I'll be right back guys okay guys let's get started all right first off you need an all brass padlock um, well, it doesn't have to be all brass, but you do need a padlock. You do need some polishing compound, and this one here is from Porter Cable. I got this at Lowell's. Comes everywhere from the heavy, you know, if you're working on some steel or something like that, to the regular, regular normal, all the way down to your high gloss polishing from Porter Cable. We're going to be using the number three, which is for soft metals and they just all rolled out but I know what they are so we're going to be using a number three and we'll probably use that one for a little bit of high gloss a little bit more polishing I'm not sure if we're actually going to be using this one today but we're going to be using the number three and you need some polishing wheels I also got these from Lowell's too and these these aren't really cheap at Lowell's I need to order these online it was like five bucks for I think six of them and they don't really last too long and I actually wanted the the wheel, the thinner wheels, the bigger ones around, they didn't have, they only had one at Lowell's and it had the quick connector and they wanted five bucks for one um, for the thinner wheels, but they are a little bit bigger, but they wear pretty quick and five bucks for one, I just wasn't going to pay that. So I'm going to be ordering some of those online. And of course we need a Dremel. I have an extension on mine, makes it a little bit easier and a soft rag. So. Let's, uh, let's get started here. First what we're going to do is put some wax on the pad. I'm going to get a nice little coat of wax on this polishing pad. 
turn that up just a little bit more. There we go. Work on a small area at a time. You don't want to um, try to go over the whole thing. So we're just going to be working that on a little area at a time. And you can see it really doesn't take that long. off a bit and you can see we are already starting to show that beautiful brass that's underneath it all right we're gonna put some more compound on the, on the wheel tough to get in between the letters of course that's why I need some thinner wheels and then need to order those online I'm not gonna pay five dollars a pop for them at low that's for sure you'll use one on you know maybe two locks and then it's pretty much over Just keep wiping off that polish. And you can see it's coming out pretty nice. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll finish up polishing the face of this one here. And then uh, I'll come back and we'll start on maybe the back. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. We pretty much got the whole lock done now except for the back of the lock and the shackle I took care of the top which will focus for us the top the sides the bottom so far and actually got in between those letters pretty good um, you can see that nice neural pattern that they have there between the letters now so it's coming out pretty well so what I'm gonna do is I'll finish polishing up the back of this lock I'll do the whole thing on camera here so you can get a kind of an idea how long it takes because it really doesn't take that long. It would probably took me mm, maybe 10 or 15 minutes to finish up the rest of what I did just now. So yeah, let's, um, we'll finish up the back of this lock. I'll do maybe a little bit of shackle and then I'll come back and I'll show you, I'll show you um, the whole thing, the finished product. see how much better it looks in the collection because like I said I do like shiny If I was taking that out of frame from watching the log, not the camera. <laughs> Alright, let me wipe 
wipe this off a little bit. Okay, well, you can see we got almost half of that done. I'll have to take a cleaner wheel after and finish polishing it, but... do have the, the higher gloss compound here and I will probably hit it with that after but you can see how nicely it came out and like I said once it's in this state it's hard to keep these fingerprints off of it but yeah there it is that's how it's coming out so far um, I'll do a little bit part of this shackle here and like I said I'll do the rest off camera, then we'll take a look and um, we'll see what it looks like.
I think that's about enough on camera. I will finish this off camera and um, yeah, we'll check it out. I'll be right back guys. Alright guys, we're back and we are looking pretty good. As you recall, the one on the left here is what we used to look like. But underneath all that beautiful patina, don't, don't get me wrong, I do like the patina, is this beautiful brass. And uh, I think it came out pretty decent. If you wanted to maybe take some of that high gloss uh, compound to it, it might get a little bit better, but I think it came out pretty decent. Now you can, like I said, you can see that nice neural there and the logo and everything came out pretty nice. And I think they're going to look a little bit better in the collection. Um, nice and shiny. Like I said, I do like shiny. So actually, um, I'll take you over there and we'll put this into our collection. Um... Okay, we're going to put this one right there. Like I said, I'm going to leave this one here. I'll leave the patina on it and everything just to remind me of what they used to look like. And um, yeah, I think they actually look pretty decent now. This one here with the steel shackle came out really nice. This Corbin here came out really nice. And um, this one here, if you recall, this was at the beginning of the video I showed you. I had started on this one. And I, um, you know, I started polishing it up a little bit more. I mean, I still have some more work to do on this one. I don't have the key for this one either, so I had to pick that one open too. But, um, yeah, I got that one started, and I'll finish this one up probably tomorrow because it is very, very late. And, uh, yeah, we have another Corbin here too in the collection, but, of course, we're not going to be able to do nothing with that. We've got this beautiful WB, which is a brass, um, which is a brushed um, brass type. And, uh, yeah. There will be no polishing up on that one. That, one already, that one's already beautiful. That one there is a lock that was given to me by none other than Bill Bacardi. And again, thank you very much, Bill, for that lock. I much appreciate that. But, um, yeah, so I'm thinking it looks pretty decent now. Nice and shiny. I like shiny. But, um, yeah. All right, guys, well, bring it back here. We'll sign off. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Um, I hope I encouraged you a little bit to, you know, polish up some of your locks in your collection. And, um, yeah. Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, comment below. And, yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks guys. Bye.